Would you stand with me for the posting of the colors? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and you may be seated. All right, your graduates, let's do this. Let's do this one thing real quick. I'm a little unorthodox. I want us to get an opportunity to get it all out of our system while, before we get it out. So on the count of three, get it out. <laughs> all right. Your graduate uh, has, your graduate has asked, your graduate has asked that you treat this exercise with the utmost uh, respect. Every graduate deserves to hear his or her name announced. Please refrain from using any noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors that uh, are not conducive for maintaining the dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and congratulatory yells until after all names have been called so that the next name can clearly be heard. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. A su estudiante le gustaría que muestra sumo respeto ante esta ceremonia. Cada estudiante que se gradúa merece escuchar su nombre. Por favor, absténganse de util utilizar mantracas, bocinas, campanas, gritos y cual cualquier otra distracción que no sea propicia para mantener de dignidad y la magnificencia 
de este evento le pedimos que exprese su aplausos y aclamaciones de la felicidad. Después que se hayan mencionado todos los nombres de los estudiantes de esa manera se escuchará claramente el nombre del estudiante que sigue. El mantener uh, el decoro nos ayudará a proporcionar una mejor ceremonia de graduación para su estudiante. Le agradecemos de antemano su cooperación en la solemnidad de la ceremonia de graduación. Congratulations, graduates. And let's get this ceremony started. At this time, we're going to have our opening by Carrington Deloach, followed by our welcome. And Ho Jose Var uh, Varela Batres will give us a lutatory address, and Dylan will give our valedictory address. We'll follow in that order. Good afternoon. We are gathered here today to validate and celebrate the graduating class of Carter High School's 2018. I am Carrington Deloach, this year's senior class president, and I am honored to stand before you to speak. Trustee Foreman, Mr. Smith, Dr. Quinn, Mr. Jones, and other important guests. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and student body, and the illustrious class of 2018, we would like to welcome each of you to our graduation ceremony. This event will create a milestone of memories for the class of 2018, and we are deeply grateful that each of you have chosen to share this joyous event with us. So again, we would like to extend a heartfelt Carter Cowboy welcome to you. Thank you. Carrington has done a fantastic job welcoming you, and I want to ditto exactly what Carrington has shared and allow at this time our executive director of the Carter Feeder Pattern, Mr. Earl Jones, just to greet us at this time, and then we'll continue with our program. Thank you, Principal Smith, for that. It's always a pleasure to be able to stand in front of future leaders and graduates and all the Carter family. It's been a great honor for me to be able to serve this campus as your executive director and working very closely with your administrative team. Principal Smith and all the teachers. And I had a chance to also be engaged with all the accomplishments that the Carter Cowboys were able to accomplish this year. It is with my pleasure to also to be here this afternoon with you and to congratulate you as you move forward and transition to your next role. Thank you very much. As Mr. Jonathan Smith said, I am Jose Varela, and I am honored to stand here before you today. First, I would like to welcome parents, family, friends, school board, administration, teachers, and fellow classmates of the class of 2018 as we celebrate the end to our high school careers and the beginning of the next chapter in our lives. First of all, congratulations to all the graduates for reaching this milestone in our lives. As graduates, we persevered and showed resilience in the face of adversity. Every last student can say that we had our own little battles throughout high school, whether it be finishing government assignments, completing biology homework, completing 10-page essays for English class, or submitting our senior fees. We succeeded even while balancing work, school, and extracurricular activities. Even though at least 300,000 students drop out of high school every year, we did not fall short. But now that we have graduated, our next goal as scholars is to put forth even more effort into pursuing our goals. Whether continuing education in college, going to trade school, or going straight into the workforce, we must avoid stagnation and work through our endeavors. Always remember, as the award-winning host Jay Shetty states, you don't have to have it all figured out to move forward. Therefore, we must keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep our minds above to stave off negativity and we will arrive at our destinations. And lastly, I want to thank all that have come to celebrate this momentous occasion as we do it all for number one. Thank you.
Welcome, family, teachers, and staff. Before I get started, I want to make sure I thank you all because without you guys, we wouldn't be here. And a special thanks to Ms. Pace for always pushing me to be the best I could be. Wow, the Immaculate Class of 2018. Man, time flies. Seems like just yesterday we were listening to every morning announcement, hearing Mr. Davis say, I love you and God loves you so much more. <laughs> this is an unbelievable accomplishment for all of us. But we cannot forget that this is just the beginning. You know they call us millennials. Society thinks the only thing we are concerned with is Snapchat, likes, retweets, and followers, and all of our role models are just YouTube vloggers and people with thousands of followers on Instagram. Yes, we all want our Twitter picture to go viral every once in a while, but class of 2018, let's show society that we are more than this. I want to challenge you, class of 2018, not to be consumed with these things that really don't matter in the big picture. I have a word I want you all to remember, perseverance. We all have our goals and dreams that we long to fulfill, but I have some news for you. It will not be easy. We will meet several obstacles along the way. When we face these obstacles, we have to be resilient and persevere when we face these challenges. We cannot give up, we have to persevere. You cannot quit until you reach your goal. You know why people quit? It's because they don't have passion and pride in what they do. You know why people stop? It's because they're selfish and it's just about them. When you have a bigger purpose and you want to honor those investments others have made in you, it's nothing to keep going when adversity hits. If you ever get discouraged, remember there are many examples of people that endured setbacks and persevered. There was a boy who locked himself in this room and cried after he was cut from his high school basketball team. That was Michael Jordan and he changed basketball. This man wasn't able to speak until he was four and his teacher said he wouldn't amount to much. That was Albert Einstein and he started the world of technology. A woman was demoted from her job as a news anchor because she wasn't fit for TV. And she goes by the name of Oprah Winfrey. So there's no amount of challenges that can be placed in front of us that can stop us from making our dreams a reality. You know what they say, if it was easy, everybody would do it, and if the mountain was smooth, you couldn't climb. As we move towards our goals, we have to be humble because it was once said that ego is the anesthesia for stupidity. Don't forget, we are still learning that we are a work in progress. If you get constructive criticism, understand it's coming from a good place. Don't be prideful and ignore good advice because a wise man once said, pride is the burden of a foolish person. You should challenge yourself to be the best you can be in all facets of your life. I don't have a problem if you aim high and miss, but I have a real issue if you aim low and hit. And always remember, if you think you can or can't, you're right. I'm gonna say that again. And always remember, if you think you can or you can't, you're right. We have not arrived just yet. There's so much for, more for us to learn. I also challenge you to do your research. Don't always take someone's word as a gospel. Even though they might have the best intentions, we can't forget the road to hell was paved on good intentions. In this world of fake news and alternative facts, we have to take responsibility to find the information we need and to make sure we are getting our information from reliable resources. It's hard for someone to take you somewhere they have never been. We have left an internal mark on David W. Carter High School. We are the class that was top five in the district in English and math. We are the class that had the boys and girls state championship track team. We are the class that had the state run up in boys basketball, which still hurts me up to this day. Shout out to Coach Love and my teammates. <laughs> so everyone will always remember us as one of the greatest classes in the history of David W. Carter. Now let's go make our mark on the world. I know there's somewhere in our class that would be the next great doctor, lawyer, engineer, entertainer, athlete, or teacher. Which one will you be? Moving forward, be sure to always remember. Be passionate about what you do. Rough times come, but they aren't here to stay. We don't have bad days, only character building days. Never hold back. Never get discouraged. Give everything you got. Mom and Dad, I hope I made you guys proud. CC for life, thank you.
Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to, to introduce the Board of Trustee, Ms. Joyce Foreman. Joyce Foreman is the Dallas ISD Board of Trustee in, in District 6. As a business owner and community leader, Foreman has used her experience in education and the community to shape Dallas ISD. 
where also her efforts have directly impacted students, teachers, and staff. Foreman brings experience from a variety of education-related affiliations to the board. Most notably, she has served on the Dallas ISD Bond Advisory Board Committee since 2002. Passionate about preparing our students to be the best and the brightest, Foreman has held other leadership positions in the district as a member of the Superintendent's Advisory and the Commission on, Ed on Educational Excellence. Providing decades of civic involvement to the Dallas citizens, Foreman has previously served on the Greater Dallas Chamber Executive Committee. As Vice Chair of Dallas Area Rapid Transit Board, Chase Bank of Texas Board, and El Central College Office Career Advisory Committee, and the host of others. Without any further ado, we give you Trustee Joyce Foreman. Good evening. If I'm smiling a lot, it's because CC is my home school. And I love you guys so much. Good afternoon, parents, staff, family members, friends, and of course, the awesome class of 2018. It is a great honor to join with you to celebrate this magnificent occasion. Graduates, for the past 12 years, you have been marching toward this very moment for a chance to reap the rewards of your labor. You have pushed onward through adversity, challenges, and incredible mountains and valleys. I am sure there were times when some of you wanted to throw in the towel and walk away. Yet, here we are today in the fullness of your accomplishments. No small feat by any means, and you should be very proud. As I look at the many faces, I'm reminded that each is a story, a hope, a dream, a possibility, and a responsibility. As a Dallas ISD trustee, it is my hope that these years have been well spent with us and that your preparation will rise up and meet opportunity in every aspect of your life. Because when preparation meets opportunity, you have the perfect recipe for creating the life of your dreams. Be mindful of things that can deceive you because many times opportunity can come disguised as hard work. So never be afraid to get in there, give it your absolute best again and again and again. The reward is always greater than the struggle, so keep pressing forward. I encourage you to dare greatly and step beyond the ordinary. Refuse to take the easy way out by living a life of mediocrity or just existing. Dare to live an extraordinary life so that when you leave this earth, you will have made a difference. That is the responsibility that we all have to earn our place on this earth by our deeds and our actions. Avoid the mistakes of believing that you're not talented enough, not rich enough, not smart enough to positively impact the world. Never underestimate the power of one. Each of you have the ability to change the world around you in some way, and you can make a difference at multiple levels. Whether you create a nonprofit or a business that will serve your community, whether you make time to mentor young children or develop a new power source for the entire globe. What you do for others will last long after you're gone. And you start by simply believing that you can make a difference. Then be courageous enough to step up to the plate and do the work. Yes, a life lived by self can bring accomplishments that benefit you and your family in remarkable ways. But a life lived for others can change the course of history. 
Don't be afraid to take that chance. I challenge you to dream great dreams for yourself and for others, then commit to making them come true. Imagine if each one of you determines to change the world around you for the better, what an incredible impact the class of 2018 would have. Each of you have that ability and the world needs you. The world especially needs you now. To our parents, staff, and community, thank you for pouring so much of your energy into our children. You have done a great job, and I'm grateful to each of you for your dedication. Class of 2018, I applaud you. You did it, and I never doubted that you would. I wish each of you much success and a remarkable journey ahead. Go boldly, dare greatly, and create your destiny. Go, CC. Thank you again, Trustee Foreman. It is my esteemed privilege and opportunity to stand and recognize uh, those who are grad graduating with uh, distinctions. In your program, you will see printed uh, our valedictorian, salutatorian, those graduating with high honors, those graduating with honors, and those who are the members of our National Honor Society who are seniors. Would you join me and give them a warm round of applause? As you see, they are adorned in their robes and their stoles as well as uh, their cords. And so they uh, stand out boldly and brightly. I do want to also share some uh, uh, very exciting news regarding this particular class, the class of 2018. Uh, the goal was set at the beginning of the year for this class to have at minimum $2 million in scholarships. The last number I saw this class of 2018 has counted $15 million in scholarship. Give them a big round of applause. That's no small feat, and so I thank all of our partners as well as our staff who played a part in making that, all, uh, making that happen, as well as to our students and our parents and guardians. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Mr. Jones, uh, Trustee Foreman, Dr. Quinn, at this time, I gladly present to you the class of 2018, David W. Carter High School. As principal of David W. Carter High School, I certify that the graduating seniors of the class of 2018 have met the requirements of the Board of Trustees, the Dallas Independent School District, and the state of Texas, and thereby entitled to be graduated from this institution and receive its diploma with all rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. As deputy, super, excuse me, as deputy Chief of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2018 graduating class of David C. Carter High School. As your trustee, I am pleased to award these diplomas, certifying that these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District.
Jordan Danielle Bryant. Dylan Raven Arnett. Jose Manuel Verifar Rodriguez. Edgar Portillo. Daniel Prosper. Legend Harris. Trinity Kojo. Latasia Weatherall. Jared Barkley Morgan Jr. Jaira Simpson. Madison Jones. Elsmeralda Ariallo. Luis Fiscal. <laughs> Kayla Turner. <laughs> Amaya Sinise Allen. <laughs> Ambrisha Deshay Nicole Williams. Veronica Wright, Knight. <laughs> Tamia Nicole Wilson. <laughs> Carrington Nicole Deloach. <laughs> Trinavia Clark. Janae McCoo. Katrin Adams. Kiana Tayang Alexander. Madison Alexander. Francisco Almaguer. Lanaya Anderson. Alejandro Ontero. Jermichael Anthony. Isaiah. Rosa Elena Barraza Nahara. Jesus Barone. Ariana Chantrice Bass. Aisha Bibbins. Talia Shanzina Blanton. Alton Booker. Marquise Bronner Jr. Kiera Raylan. Boykins. (laughs) 
Alfredo Botello Hernandez. Shantine Brent Jackson. Jalen Brown. Jermaine Brown. Shatarius Danae Brown. Shaquan Burtz. Malik Butler. Tajay Campbell. Taylor Carr. Taralyn LaRose Carter. Miguel Montoya. Maria Castillo. Melissa Castillo. Jarrell Cherry. Deasia Claiborne. Christopher Clark. <laughs> Amelia Cleves. <laughs> Jonathan Clerkley. <laughs> Jeremiah Cole. Sharia Cook. Jolicia Cooks. Rochelle Curtis. Gabrielle Davis. Julissa Del Rosario Serda. Kesey Dupont. Sierra Doss. Patrick James Durrell Jr. Deanna Edwards. Alexis Estrada. Lisbeth Esparza. Kobe Etheridge. Lanisha Evans. Cameron Horton, DeAndre Falls, Andre Fleming, Naomi Flores, Vernon. Eduardo Castillo. Odell Foster. Keegan Freeman. 
Joshua G. Uriah Gibson. Ramon Goins. Evelyn Esmeralda Gomez. Dinesha LaShawn Griffin. Maurice Griffin. Detron Hall. Deja Hinton. Nicholas Hall. Alexandria Hanks. Rasheed Harris. Karen Hernandez. Epifanio Hernandez. Michael Hernandez. Terrence Harold, Marconi Higginbottom, Nikayla Hicks, Kyle Hill, Asia. Demandre Collins, <laughs> Ken Mian, Hyder Lamb, Montreal Irvin, <laughs> Jasela Jackson, Michaela Jackson. Jatavia Jones, Tedrick King, Tariq King, Annalise Lacia, Crystal Lee. Decorian Lockett, Gerberto Esquadra, Lopez Estrada, Valerie Lopez, Janisha Lankin, Gabriel Luviano. Cameron Macon, Keith Melodano, Gabrielle Masters, the Kyron May, Jashamaria McElwood. Macmillan, Brenda Medina, Melvin Milliner, Abraham Nunes Ordaz, Cassandra Ochoa, Juan Quinte. 
Nelson Ukuza. Abigail Pena, Jennifer Sanchez, Cameron Perkins, Shakavia Perry, Albert Parsley, Renee Ransom. Deja Janae Richardson, Shamitria Richardson, Brian Robertson, Lanisha Kanisha Robinson, Kanitria Robinson Morrison, Daz Robinson. Javante Robinson. Kareem Roney. Quentin Ross. Jason Ruff. Rodrigo Garcia. Veronica Sanchez, Chrisandra Sanders, Mariandra Sanders, Beatrix Zavala, Anisha Scott, LaCroya Scott. Kiaria Scripps, Tamia Shaw, Shari Sheets, Zaria Zanae Slaughter. Elijah Smith, Essence Smith, Tyrell Smith, Jacqueline Soto, Tiasia Steve, Toyawana Summerlin. Quinesia Tatum, Davian Taylor, Jaslyn Thomas, Anthony Turner, Dominique Jaquan Tyler. Gorquiza, Jacqueline Martinez, Valdez Martinez, Porsche Nicole Robinson, Nicholas Darian Darrell de Charles Rockmore Coleman. Roger Ochoa, Maria Becerra Aguilar, Hannah Wally, 
Brashan Wardlow. Travion Ware. Zamaya Patrice Ware. Caribbean Ramon Warren. Barry Washington. Charles Washington. Shania Webster. Darius Wheeler. Janisha Nicole Simone White. Nicole Whitehead. Alasia Williams. Kobe Wilson. Kaylin Wyndham. Nicholas Michael Andre Wooden. Nicole Wright. DeAndre Wright. Devon Young. Anna Marie Zorato Vasquez. Matthew Hunt. Tyandre Johnson. Malik Mayfield. Graduates, would you please stand? All right, graduates, congratulations. On behalf of the Dallas Independent School District, our board trustee, Trustee Foreman, I hereby declare you are 2018 graduates of the David W. Carter High School. Please turn your tassels from right to left. Thank you, you may be seated. At this time, Legend Harris, our senior class secretary, will come with acknowledgments and recognitions. Good evening. I am Legend Harris, the senior class secretary of the amazing class of 2018. I have the very important task of acknowledging all the important people sharing this occasion with us, as well as those who have been a support system for us, and ultimately, who have helped us get here today. Teachers, parents, counselors, administrators, and certainly our family and friends, it is with pride and pleasure that we thank you today for all that you have done and will continue to do for us in all of our endeavors. We love you, thank you.
graduates, would you please stand as we sing our school song for the last time as part of Cowboy Students? Session. 